Almost everything inside Terry Reynolds' Bridger home was lost on Saturday in that fire. Now she's left to start completely over. And at 69 years old, that isn't easy to do. You don't have time to think. When disaster strikes, chaos ensues. You just react and I don't know that you even think. Something Terry Reynolds now knows all too well. Still haven't wrapped my head around it. Last Saturday, Reynolds was sitting with her roommate Chuck Anderson in their Bridger home when they heard a strange noise coming from their porch. We just kept hearing this pop, pop. We heard it noise out here on the porch area and he opened the door and it was fully engulfed and the flames shot in. The moments that followed were pure terror as flames engulfed both the inside and outside of the home. We was trying to get out the back door which got stuck and we couldn't get out. It was terrifying. Terry's granddaughter Madison was in Billings when the fire broke out. When we got here and I actually seen it was real, I started to cry. Um, it was very emotional. After hearing how they had to get out and almost not making it out, uh, Chuck Anderson actually almost had to shoot the back door out. Terry and Chuck were able to barely escape the blaze with their two dogs, but Terry's two cats were nowhere to be found. I still have one cat that we haven't found, and my other little cat, unbeknown to us, it was like three days later that we did find it in the back room, and he's burnt his little hands and feet or paws. He spent some time at the Red Lodge Veterinary Clinic, but he's now home healing. He's he got home. come home, got so we just have to do a whole lot of home care, but he's he's coming along really good. Reynolds just moved to the Treasure State in October after spending most of her life in Wyoming. One of her children recently passed away, prompting her to be closer to her family in Bridger, but she never would have imagined just three months after moving, losing everything in an instant. When they say it comes in a second, it really, really does. But she's remaining positive, showing her gratitude to those who have offered a helping hand. And the neighbors here when it first happened came to assist with a chair, a coat, something that they could offer at that moment. For more information on how you can help out during this time, visit the full story on our website. And I don't even know how to say thank you, but I'm very grateful to the town and everyone. In Bridger, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.